The scientific benefits of praying towards the Kaaba will blow your mind. Daily prayer slows down the process, aging. Everything in the world is made up according to a specific measurement. Every Muslim pray in the direction of Kaaba five times a day. 1400 years ago, these verses from Surah Al-Baqarah were revealed when Prophet Muhammad was ordered by Allah to turn away from the Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem and face the Kaaba in Mecca when praying to Allah. And so, we have made you believers an upright community so that you may be witnesses over humanity and that the Messenger may be a witness over you. We assigned your former direction of prayer only to distinguish those who would remain faithful to the Messenger from those who would lose faith. It was certainly a difficult test except for those rightly guided by Allah. And Allah would never discount your previous acts of faith. Surely Allah is ever gracious and most merciful to humanity. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of sins, when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, toward heaven, and we will surely turn you to a Qibla with which you will be pleased. So turn your face towards Masjid al-Haram and wherever you are, turn your faces toward it. Indeed, those who have been given the scripture well known that it is the truth from their Lord and Allah is not unaware of what they do. Many non-Muslims claim that Muslims worship Kaaba like non-Muslims worship idols. But brothers and sisters, this is not true. Muslims don't worship Kaaba. Kaaba is just a qibla to create a harmony among Muslims, to create unity among Muslims so that all Muslims pray in one direction. Brothers and sisters, many scholars say if you don't know the direction of qibla and there is no possibility to find the qibla, then you can pray in any direction because Allah is everywhere in east and west. As Allah says in the Quran, and to Allah belong the east and the west. So, wherever you might turn, there is the face of Allah. Indeed, Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. Today, science has been so advanced and we now know several scientific benefits behind praying toward the Kaaba. Science proves that when a person lies down his head in sajda, the body of Muslim releases many negative energies. To understand this, Let's learn about the golden ratio. In mathematics, two quantities are in the golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the two quantities. The figure on the right illustrates the geometric relationship where the Greek letter phi represents the golden ratio. The golden ratio is also called the golden mean or golden section. This is found in almost everywhere in the world and Allah has used this proportion. It can be found in almost everything from DNA to galaxies. If you divide the distance from the belly to your feet with the distance from the belly to the top of your head, the ratio is 1.618. Thus, we can see that the human being is created based on the golden ratio. This is the best ratio to design structures based on it. Now suppose that the distance from your belly to the end of your feet was not according to the golden ratio, but was more than this ratio. What would happen is beauty and structure of the human body would decrease. Moreover, the motion of the human body would become unstable had the human body not been created based on the golden ratio. Hence, the center of the golden ratio of the human body is the belly. Allah says in the Quran, Allah has appointed measures of all things. Everything has its measure with him. These ayahs clearly mention that there is specific measure behind everything. Now, if you look at the Makkah city, Makkah city's proportions in distance to the north and south poles and also the proportion of the eastern and western elongation are equal to golden ratio, the latitude and longitude position of the Holy Kaaba are 
The position of the Makkah city center pointed on Google Earth is For both of these positions, the ratio between the south and the north parts is almost 1.624 or 1.6 approximately and the ratio between the distance to the west and the east is approximately 1.568 or 1.6 approximately. Both of these ratios are closer to the value of the golden ratio 1.61803. The distance between the golden mean point of the earth and the holy Kaaba is just a few kilometers, 277 kilometers. And if a straight line is drawn between these two points shown, Mina falls just on it. So we came to know that the Kaaba is golden point of glow. Neil Armstrong when saw earth from space, he observed some strong radiation emitting from the earth and specifically from the Kaaba, which were spread toward the longer distance, some claims that these radiations connect Earth Kaaba with Celestial Kaaba, Beit al Ma'mur, by also called the Frequent House, is an exact replica of the Kaaba outside the realms of human existence. It is located directly above the Kaaba in the seventh heaven. Directly above the Beit al Ma'mur is the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 70,000 angels visit Beit al Ma'mur to worship and pray every single day, who never return. Beit al Ma'mur is welcomed by a new legion of 70,000 angels every day, which puts into perspective the massive number of angelic population that exists compared to humans on earth. The radiation emitted from Kaaba are short waves. That's why when the person circles around the Kaaba, therefore is when we are around the Kaaba, it is as though we are in recharged by a mistress energy. And this is a fact that has been scientifically proven. That's why if someone lives in Makkah, then he will live longer, healthier. Another amazing thing about Kaaba is that research revealed that the black stone is a stone which is the oldest stone in the world and can also float in water. In a state museum in England, there are three pieces of stone from the Kaaba and the museum also said that the chunks of rocks are not from our solar system. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, When the black stone came down from paradise, it was whiter than milk, but the sins of the sons of Adam made it black. Brothers and sisters, our body collects multiple electromagnetic radiation from the surroundings on a daily basis, and these radiation collect in the frontal lobe of our brain, which causes stress, anxiety, and depression. These radiations can be extracted from our brain by putting our head down during sajda and most importantly in the direction of a strong energetic field and now we know which is the direction of strong field the holy kaaba the strong energetic field of kaaba attract these negative energies dr andrew newberg is a neuroscientist and physician who has conducted extensive research in the field of neuromagging and the relationship between the brain and spirituality he is particularly known for his work on the neural basis of religious and spiritual experience and spiritual experiences. Dr. Andrew Newberg wrote in his book, How God Changes the Brain, that constant prayer slows down the aging process. He also wrote intense prayers that permanently change numerous structures and functions in the brain. Allahu Akbar. All praise is for the Lord of all worlds who fashioned everything with his might. We say Alhamdulillah that Allah guided us to his path.